So someone in the user forum um, had a question. They, their question was, anyone knows how to shut off system audio only, clicks and such without muting it, uh, any narrations uh, that are already on existing lessons? Not new ones, thanks. So here's, uh, here's the process. Typically you're gonna get um, uh, system audio recorded on software simulation. So I'm gonna create a software simulation and show you how to do this. Uh, and we'll also set it up so that you can determine whether any future recordings uh, include system audio as well, because you may want to change that global setting here. So let's start by clicking on software simulation, and we'll go ahead and hit create here. And uh, I'm going to choose full screen here, and we're going to do my second monitor, and we'll make sure that system audio is recorded. I'm going to use my microphone that's in my webcam because I don't want to interfere with the microphone that I'm using right now. So we'll go ahead and hit record. And I'm just going to perform some steps that you might typically want to capture uh, related to checking for updates uh, in your Windows uh, installation here. And that's all I really need. So I'll go ahead and click on the Captivate icon to stop the recording. It's creating my slides and we will see this project in just a moment here. So the key thing I want to bring to your attention is the, um, the audio down here. So notice that there is narration one and system audio and it might assign a number to it to maintain uniqueness. So this would contain any clicks and dings and bells and whistles that your operating system might produce when you perform certain tasks. If you decide you don't want this at all, you can actually just simply right click on the system audio track and remove it. That's an option for you. You can also edit it by going in and editing this and you'll see both tracks. So there's my audio narration. And uh, you know if you wanna work with your narration, you can deselect your system audio. If you want to just remove something from the clicks and pops and beeps, you certainly can edit just that audio as well. So like I said, you can simply right click on the system audio and remove it and it should get deleted from uh, that slide. And you may have to go through and uh, delete them one by one. Another way you can deal with it is to go to your library file and you'll see, of course, here's all the narration slide or all the narration files. And of course, here's the system audio files. So I can select all of them in one shot and simply click on the garbage can to delete all of those in one shot. You'll get a warning, just say yes to all. And then of course, the system audio is now removed from all of your slides. Now, if you wanna prevent uh, future system audio be from being recorded in your software simulation, Close any open Captivate projects. Go into the Edit drop-down menu. If you're on a Mac, you're going to go into the Adobe Captivate drop-down menu and select Preferences. From here, we're going to navigate to the Recording category and select Settings. And from there, you'll see some of the defaults that you can set for recording software simulation here. Presently, system audio is selected. So if I don't want to record system audio in the future, I can simply unselect this. Because I don't have a project open, any changes I make to my preferences here become global and all future uh, recordings will not include system audio selected by default. So if I click OK, and I go to New, and I start a new software simulation, you'll see system audio is deselected by default. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.